Well, there's plenty of snags and rocks here, mate. It's looking fantastic. It just looks like so much habit out here for the brim. Yeah. Big sloping rock bar here. Look at the trees. You've got a whole lot of snags. You've got oh, all these yeah. fallen trees. It's got this brim city. There's got to be brim everywhere. Yeah, this has to be here. I reckon here. Yeah. Looks good. Honeymoon Island, that's the guy. Right along those rocks. Yeah. Well, the Kelgan River in Albany is one of the most beautiful river systems in Western Australia. And Kurt, there's a lot of brim in here. I've also heard there's a few mullai apparently. Yeah, so. Jim from Albany Rods and Tackle said if we go and work the snags here with soft plastic lures, there might even be some mullai oh, in them. I reckon we're in for a chance. We'll certainly see some brim, I reckon. I just hope we get a mullai, Steve. Well, we've seen him catch brim. Can he catch mullai on soft plastics? We'll soon find out. Now, what we're going to do today is fish here with these soft plastic lead heads. You can see I've got a lead head jig with a soft plastic rubber tail and it just wiggles about. Kurt, there's so many to choose from though. Oh, that's the hard part, Steve, is what colour to use. But well, I'm going to go for my favourite. I just can't lose on this colour here. But to be honest, any of them will work. Yeah, now that one, that's called the pumpkin seed shrimp, isn't it? Pumpkin seed shrimp. Gee, they're about 50 cents each. So it doesn't matter if you lose a few. They work in Perth. I reckon they'll work here, but ooh, it's chilly and there's a bit of overcast conditions. Oh, I'm quietly confident. Brim love it. Presenters don't. Oh, oh I tell you what, Steve, if this is a brim, I think it's a big one. I think it's, it's going out to the middle, I mate. I think it's a mulloway. Oh, no way. A lot of head shaking. Yeah, it's got to be a away. Well, it might be a brim. It's the dumbest brim for it is, because usually they go the other way, into the That's snags. That's right, straight to the snags. Yeah. This one's going out in the middle of the river. I can't believe you. You can take you anywhere, and you can just pull fish. We'll get around the back here and confuse him. It's got to be a mulloway, doesn't it? It's got a fair bit of weight there. I hope it's a brim, because if it's a brim, it's a it's big a one. It's a beauty. OK, it should come up any second now. All right. Oh, I just want to see, just want to see, come on. Don't you hate when they just sit deep enough so you just can't see them? And then if you accidentally lose them, don't you accidentally lose this before we see it. Oh, it is, I've seen it. It looks, it looks like a brim. No, it's no, my way, it's my way. way. It's a nice oh, little hey, slopey. Soft, soft plastic rock, I tell you. Shaking his head. All right, I'll put the net down here. Swim down. I'll swim him forward. Okay, you ready? He's going to come up. Okay, he's going to have a bit of a... No, he's still oh. diving, still diving. It's all right. Nope, nope, nope. Beautiful colours. Done. Ah, well done. Kurt Look Blanksby. Look at that colour. How you going? Look at that. Soft plastic lure right in the gob. You wouldn't believe it. I'll tell you what, they just, they just work on everything, don't they? Look at the beautiful bronze colour on oh, it. It's been in the river. Oh, so, I'm just speechless. Have a look at this. That is a mulloway. It's only what we call soapy or a baby one. But aren't they beautiful here in the Kelgan? Quite sharp teeth here as well. Have a look at those. They're like tailor teeth. And no leader. Doesn't matter. You still got him. Oh, <laughs> off he went straight away. One mulloway. Gee, I hope there's a few more in here. Kurt, this technique you're using with the soft plastics, it really seems to be dynamite. Where did you learn it? What I did is I um, watched a video of some guys over east just fishing for brim in these brim comps, and they're just doing this little twitch like this, and I tell you what, it just drives the fish crazy. It's so you let it sink. Let it sink, and just lots of little, not the old bounce technique, it's just no. lots of little twitches, Steve, and it's been working so well for me, I, I just won't change at the moment. I'm just catching so many fish. And just let that lure sink to the bottom after you've cast. Because the fish we're targeting, Brim and Mulloway, they're on the bottom. Oh, yes! Kurt, on, I'm Steve? on. I'm on. What do you call it? Brim? Mulloway. Well, I don't think it's a brim. It's... I reckon that's another Mulloway, Steve. I think it could be right. It's gone to the middle of the river again. Yeah, they're little Mulloway. Oh, come on, come on, come on. 
Oh, now is it going to be the same size as mine or bigger, you reckon? No, it's not very big. It might not even be legal, but it's a mulloway on a lure nonetheless. I haven't caught too many on lures. You see the mulloway go to the middle, but the brim always go into the snags. That's right. I prefer actually oh. the middle, to be honest. <laughs> oh, look at the colour of them. Beautiful. Oh, yes, it's a mulloway. All right, have a look at this. Almost exactly the same size as yours. So there must be a school of these fish just working the area. Right, and look at that. A bit bigger. Yeah, you might have been. Oh, they love them. A bit bigger. A bit bigger. Yeah. That's that. Fisherman, <laughs> eh? Oh, look at that. Once again, it's the same colour, the pumpkin seed, slider grub. Well, that wasn't coming out. He's really got that right in the corner. Yeah. They've got a lot of teeth here, haven't they? Do you find the mulloway you're catching the swan have the same sort of teeth on them? They do, but they don't really seem to cut the line. It's more a holding tooth. Hangs onto the bait fish they're grabbing. Have a look at that. Well done, Steve. They're such a beautiful colour. Listen to him grunting. Well, look, we don't want to keep him out of the water too long. We'll pop him straight back in. Well, one to Kurt, one to me. Do you reckon we can get one to break the deadlock? Oh, I think we're going to have to. It'd have to be a tiebreaker, I think, Steve. Well, I've got to beat him at something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, <laughs> he's done it. Yeah, that's a fish. And it, oh, I think it's a brim. No, no, look, it's gone out again. There's uh, a mulloway. You reckon? Well, he's hanging out from the snag. It's no brim, I know. They always go in. Oh, it's getting it's cold. I reckon in. there might be a bit of a storm coming, mate. I think you're going to have to. Oh, we're going to hit the, oh, hit the rocks. It's all happening. Come on out. Okay. It is a mulloway. Got, got the net there, Steve. Oh, hang on. I'm just trying to avoid crashing here at the moment. Okay, he's out, he's out, he's on the top. All right. Oh. Actually, we might just lift he's, him. He's, what do you right. he's a little bit smaller than the other two. Let's bring him over. Come here. Jeez, I love those jigs. And that one's gone right in the mouth. Look at that. You might be able to see that if you look closely. He's taken that right in his gob. Wonderful. Lift him by the jig. Well, no brim, but the, you can't complain about the mulloway. No way, but you've done me again. First it was brim, <laughs> then it's mulloway. 2-1 to Mr. Okay. Blanksby. It's the jigs, I tell you. Well, yes, he's been doing a lot longer than yeah, me. I've had a bit of thing. practice with him. So I think you ought to get out there and practice a bit more, Steve. Well, why don't you do that? Why don't you get out there and practice as well? These things are so cheap. Fish them in the Swan River, fish them here in Albany. He doesn't want to let it go, and why would you? One more release for the day, and I think we'll get off home. Careful after they've been fighting just to keep him there. Make sure he's healthy and he's off. <laughs>